James Bucken here. I am the firm managing partner for clients. I have the pleasure today of speaking with Chris Allum, who is the National Practice Group Leader for Lending as well as Department Head in Toronto for Financial Services and Real Estate. Welcome, Chris, and thank you for joining me today. Thank you very much, James. Let's start with a question about your background and why you became a lending lawyer. I have to say that, in fact, I didn't choose to become a lending lawyer. Lending, I think, chose me. Many, many years ago when I started practice, I wanted to be an insolvency lawyer, but at the time the market was too strong. There wasn't a lot of insolvency. And I was practicing in a group that was a hybrid insolvency lending group. And I started doing lending and I started doing more lending. It's certainly been a field that uh, I found exciting and that uh, is dynamic, uh, a fast paced field. Um, and, and I'm thrilled to have carried forward that in my career. As a firm, we act for a lot of financial institutions. What is it that we do to help them? What we do is we bring them a lot of certainty. What we say to them is, you know, you have a deal that you want to do with your client. You want to make sure that you provide value to your client. You want to make sure that your client gets value from you. But at the same time, you want to know that if in the unfortunate circumstance something goes wrong, that the paper that you have uh, behind that deal is going to keep you high and dry, so to speak, when the tides turn. So that's what we bring. But on top of that, I think what we bring at Gowlings, which is perhaps uh, a little bit different, is we bring a wealth of experience across many, many facets of lending and many, many facets of industry sectors across our firm, as well as an international aspect. And so we're able to take all of those pieces and bring them together so the, the advice that we provide may be a little bit more complete or a little bit more balanced. What would you say has changed in the practice since you started? The standard, I think, for lawyers has moved uh, a lot higher. Um, we are expected to deliver value in terms of accuracy and consistency and speed of service. And a lot of that is driven by uh, technology. You know, as, as, as we can see in this pandemic, even, um, it's far easier to meet. It, meetings, in a way, had dropped off because people were delivering documents by email so quickly. And, and now in this pandemic, with technologies like the technology that you and I are using right now, we're actually back to meeting at least virtually face-to-face -face with our clients quite often. And I think what you see, therefore, is there's been an approach towards speed, an approach towards real exacting perfection in documents over the past 20 years or so, um, an approach that moved us perhaps away from face-to-face -face with our clients. And I'm, I'm wondering, I don't know for sure, if technologies like this now start to move us back to, more, to a more interactive role uh, with our banking clients. Chris, you are also the leader of the artificial intelligence or AI subgroup. What role do you see AI having in the lending practice? I think we will see AI develop in a way that provides advantages to lenders who use it. So they may be able to better seek out targets for value they may be able to better project how a company is going to do over time. This will allow them to offer competitive borrowers better rates, better longevity in terms of their relationship with the bank, and overall enhance the return to the bank as well as to the borrower. Chris, you take on new clients from time to time. When you do, what is the one thing you wish that they asked you at the outset? One of the things that our clients come to us for is our preeminent position in the lending space uh, in the Toronto market, in the Canadian market, and in the global market. It would be helpful for our clients if they thought of us on a holistic basis, because we can bring to them a number of experiences and a number of pools of knowledge and a number of suggestions and even client contacts for them in areas where our lending clients don't necessarily think of us. We could take what we have here and give them 
perhaps a greater experience. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you for your time and your insights today. You're welcome. Nice to talk to you again, James.